And we're kicking off our Stuff It series, Stuffed Foods You'll Want to Stuff Your Face With. Why not? It's January where we can uh, forget the resolutions. Alex Burgess Absolutely. is here, and you begin our stuffing extravaganza with French toast two ways. Absolutely. So we've got uh, two simple French toasts you can make at home, some with a little twist on it. So uh, starting off, we're going to do a roast turkey. Uh -huh. uh, Are these little, on the menu? Uh, we do them as specials, and they're kind of elements that we use at the restaurant already. So it's stuff that you may find every once in a while. Yep. Got it. So we start off with a little bit of uh, Dijon maple mayo. And now, is it important to use fresh bread? Because typically Absolutely. French... Absolutely. Yeah, it's okay. ten times easier. And then now uh, we've just got a little bit of Swiss cheese mm -hmm. in there and some fresh roasted turkey. Maybe you can use sliced over. turkey from the grocery store. Sure. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. And then a little arugula to make it seem a little bit healthy. Well, there you go. <laughs> you got your vegetables yeah. in there. Yeah, and then uh, we'll just do a quick, simple egg dip over here. Mm -hmm. you What's get... in the egg dip? So just eggs. Nothing, nothing fancy like that. And... Uh, Get both sides nice and coated, and as you can see, we've already got some of these going over here. Okay. And now I'll pull those, these out. So you don't need to let it soak in the egg. No, you're just you? putting a crust on it. Yeah. Um, if you're doing just French toast with maple syrup, yeah, soak the bread. But we're just putting a nice crust on it, and then allowing the insides to the cheese to melt and things like that. Yeah. Delicious. What yep. do you have going on in the pan? And then on Is that the butter other, or? Uh, a little bit of canola oil and mm -hmm. butter, because butter is always next better. Smoke point. Got it. Absolutely. And then our other French toast for the day. What's is next? going to be our uh, caramelized onion and apple with uh, brie cheese, which is come on perfect. <laughs> that sounds like a beautiful. So flavor just saute profile. the apples and onions, and I put a little bit of sage in there. I'll put this over butter. here. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna light things on fire later. <laughs> and some brie, nice sticky French brie. What is it about the apple and the brie that works yeah, it's a so well? Combo. It's, it's just, just that creaminess gooey, in the acid. Creamy, it's great. Yeah. yeah. And again, a little egg dip. Now, the color in that egg dip is pretty incredible. We get uh, dark yolk eggs at the restaurant. Okay. And uh, it's just nice to see as opposed to those regular eggs you get at the grocery store. Sure. And then again, we're just going to pull this out. I've noticed the technique on the stuffing is that you left one side closed. Absolutely. Absolutely. It keeps everything from falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> Makes your life easier. And then for toppings, um, this, uh, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of maple syrup on because mm -hmm. maple syrup is always great. So you've got your sweet and your savory. Yep. Important with French toast. And then for our stuffed caramelized apple Where French toast. Where does the toast, blow torch come in? Right now. Right now. So I've got some. Do you uh, want me to operate it? I would no, love I think that. I'll leave I would it in the hands that. of a professional. So I've got some beer soaked apples. And then we have a little bit of foie butter. And we'll What's just, in the foie butter? So foie gras, uh, pulverized down and then whipped with fresh salted butter. How long do you soak those apples for? Uh, overnight. Overnight? Yep. In beer? Just In straight beer. up beer? Just beer, yep. What kind of beer? Uh, so we use Show Pony at the restaurant yeah. uh, from Last Best Breweries. Okay, I know. The truth yep. is in the details here. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's light it up. And then just give that a little bit of flame just to let that melt down and caramelize. Woo! And now, let's say go. I don't have a blowtorch at home. I'm not super fancy pants. Wait, could you just throw that in the oven? You could absolutely do that in the oven for a second. Yeah. Delicious. Absolutely. Beautiful. Okay, two dishes here, and uh, you can find similar fare at the Belt Liner. Thank you so much for Thank you that. having me on. You made that look easy. It was. We did stuffed French <laughs> toast two ways in approximately three minutes and 30 seconds. So, Happy New Year to you. Dig into that. Andrew Schultz, Cheers. I don't know if you saw this. Oh, 